Hey guys, welcome to your third C++ tutorial. Now, in the last tutorial, we just understood the very first beginning C++ program. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about variables and data types. Now, variables and data types are the most fundamental concept of C++. So, you have to understand it before understanding anything else. From high school algebra, you guys already know that variables are temporary places to store values. As an example, in high school algebra, you used to you used to use uh, variables like x, y, a, b, c, where you uh, which uh, didn't have any specific value. It could take any values. Uh, this is the same with C++. Now we cannot access the memory directly. We cannot say that we want to store this into memory. So if we want to store something into memory, we have to do this uh, with the help of variables. Now each variable represents a specific area in memory where we can store some values. So in order to store any value or any data in memory, computer's memory, we have to have define a variable. Now there are different types of variables. Suppose I'm, I'm creating a variable named Raja. Yes, that's my name. Now what type of data can I put in this variable? Suppose uh, there are many types of data. I can put 5, I can put 5.5, I can put a name, I can put a name like Raja, I can put uh, only a character like C. Now what kind of variable, what kind of data can we put in this variable? So this is where the data type comes in. Now you know that 5, 4, these things are called integers. 4, 5, these things are called integers. Now, if we want to put integer values into a variable, we have to declare the variable's data types as integer, or in short, int. Now, if we declare an int, if we declare Raja as an int, then we can store only integer values inside Raja. Okay, now Raja is an integer variable. Now, we can also make other variables like float var and inside float we can store values like um, inside float we can store values like 5.5 float basically means with the decimal point okay a number with a decimal point we can also build variables like string now inside string we can put data which are uh, actually words words of strings so suppose i can put raja is cool or something like that so string variables helps us to keep a string of words or a string of letters you can say. And we have also that kind of variables like char or char, whatever you say. Now inside char we can store only one character. Char is short for character. But make sure to give a single quotation here. So I can store either C or A or B or whatever, but make sure to make sure it is one character and it is surrounded by single quotations. In case of strings, you have to surround it by double quotations, otherwise it will give you an error. So these names are called variables where we can store some data. And these are called the data types, which represents what kind of data we can store into that variable. Pay attention. Data types represents what kind of data we can store inside variables. Okay, so I guess you have understood about um, variables and data types. Now let's understand a little bit about the naming conventions in C++. Suppose I uh, make an integer variable like this, int, and name it 5 Raja. Will it work? Let's see. Let's run it. It says an error here. Why? Because we cannot use a number as the first letter of any variable in C++. That's a strict rule. Okay, so whenever you are writing a name, you have to use either a, either a letter, A, B, C, D, or you can use an underscore as the first letter. So if you use an underscore, let's run it. Yes, it's run. There's no error. So remember, whenever, whenever you are Whenever you are writing any C++ variable, make sure not to use any numbers at first position. But you can use it at the middle or the end. If I use it here, you can see as you can see, it runs correctly. Okay. So this is the variable name convention. You have to uh, you have to use this, otherwise C++ will throw a bunch of errors at you. 
So this was it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we just learned about variables and data types and various concepts. You also learned about various naming conventions. I hope it helped and you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please mention those in comments. And thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I hope it helps. Thank you.